Um, so in this video, I'm going to be trying out Epicure's General Tao like dinner packet. I've used some of Epicure's like individual spices in the past, but I haven't tried any of their like dinner kits. So this one here is gonna make General Tao. I actually got this as a sample. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, and I picked General Tao because my husband that's like his favorite thing when we order Chinese food. So I figured we might as well try it out and try it at home. Um, I'm just going to read you guys instructions really quick before we get started. So it says one pound of chicken. I didn't weigh my chicken. I got three chicken breasts. So we're just going to roll with that. Um, oh, this says chicken thighs. We're using chicken breasts. Um, we're going to cut it up and you're going to toss the chicken in cornstarch. Hopefully I have cornstarch. Um, and then for this, how we prep it is we're going to add the seasoning with one cup of water, two tablespoons of soy sauce and two tablespoons of ketchup. Um, and then set it aside. So um, that's what we're going to start with. And then I'll prep my chicken and stuff. Um, and I'll show you guys the kind of finishing it off. Now this one does also say to add two bell peppers. Um, I'm going to do mine a little bit differently because Josh um, doesn't stomach peppers very well. I'm going to cook peppers for myself separately. And we're going to toss in um, some green beans and maybe some other veggies with the chicken and the seasoning instead of doing bell peppers. So... I'll be back. All right, so we're just going to dump the seasoning into here. This is kind of what it looks like. So you can see it's got, <coughs> sorry, I read some of that in. Some different things in there. It definitely smells kind of like General Tao. Um, so a, <coughs> oh my goodness, a quarter cup of water. Um, I can't find my little measuring spoon that I would normally use. Actually, I know exactly where it is. It's in the sink drying. So one tablespoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and then it says ketchup. Hold on. Don't lose my spoon. Ketchup is stuck together. We don't use a lot of ketchup in our house. This might finish off my ketchup actually. Alright, so there's one. And two. So we're just going to mix this up. I'm just going to use this spoon. I don't really see the need to get out the whisk. All right. So I'm going to prep my chicken and I'll bring you guys back in when we have some more interesting things to show you. Okay. I'm running out of glass bowls, you guys. So we've got our chicken cut up here and I did find cornstarch, so this is roughly a quarter cup, and it just has to toss. Um, I'm going to just use one of my spatulas here, probably the same one I'll use kind of for everything else. So we're gonna, just going to use this to toss the chicken in. I'm assuming that the cornstarch is just going to help make the chicken like crispier. Kind of like a breading substitute. This looks like a lot, but they're all going to be coated, that's for sure. I'm trying to stick to the instructions as much as possible. Often when I cook, I tend to just start deviating from the instructions and doing whatever I want. But I wanted to give a um, more accurate review of the product. The the, seed, the general Tao dinner mix. So I'm trying to stick to the instructions, but like I said, I'm not going to be doing bell peppers right in the dinner. I'm going to cook my bell peppers separately and we're going to do like beans and stuff in here instead. Okay, so this is all mixed up with the cornstarch. I have the wok on the stove heating up the oil and we're going to just toss that in there and cook it. And then it says to switch and cook the peppers in the pan next. So I'm going to switch and cook my um, beans. Oh my goodness. Um, after the chicken. So I'll be back. Okay, so all I did was I put some um, olive oil in the pan and heated that up. And heated up the pan before throwing in that coated chicken. And we're going to let that cook. And then we'll switch over and do the beans. I've got a pan here started um, that I'm going to cook the peppers in separately. So the chicken is all browned up, so I just transferred it into this bowl, and now in the 
pan here, we've got our green beans, which according to the recipe should be peppers, but like I said, they're over here separate. Okay, so um, we have bacon for breakfast, and we decided we're going to add the extra bacon into our dinner, so that's what you're seeing in there. Um, I think these have had enough time to get kind of started on cooking, so we're going to throw the chicken back in, and, and we're also going to throw in the sauce now and let it cook all together. Make sure we get all of it. down a little bit. Oh, it smells good. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. So we've got the chicken bacon general towel with some beans and I've got the peppers in mine and on the bottom um, you could do rice I did cauliflower rice just because we're trying to be a little bit more health conscious um, these days <laughs> so yeah um, I'll be back to let you know how it tasted how'd you like the general towel pretty good it was uh, definitely um, tastes very similar to what you get in the restaurants yeah and healthier much healthier was it yummy? <laughs> yeah, it tasted really good. It tasted about the same as what we'd get from the restaurant and obviously much healthier, um, especially swapping out cauliflower rice for rice. I need to work on my cauliflower rice <laughs> recipe though. Um, and really easy to do. Like that was so easy, you guys. So